Well, this is a, uh, a conversation to be had with, uh, with experts and scientists. Uh, as we know, and as the WHO has, uh, has wanted to, uh, to seek for quite some time, is more uh, data and, and more transparent evidence from China on where uh, and how the uh, COVID-19 originated uh, about two years ago now. So we expect that China to follow the guidance and, and, and uh, respond to the requests of organizations like uh, the WHO uh, to provide, as I said, more transparency on not only what arrived, but also how we can work better together internationally with the WHO to make sure that whatever uh, risk um, or outcomes arise in the future, we can better manage them at the global level. Tom Perry with CBC. Hi, Minister Duclos. Uh, it's actually a follow-up on that. What China is alleging is that an outbreak of Omicron in Beijing originated from a parcel or a letter that was sent from Canada. So given what we know about the virus, how likely do you think that is that that's, that's the case? And if it's not the case, what do you think China is doing here? Well, to be, uh, to be very honest with you, I don't know where that is coming from, and uh, we'll check with, uh, with officials and our partners around the world. I think this is uh, something but not only new, but intriguing, and certainly not in accordance with uh, what we have done both internationally and domestically. Given what we know about the transmissibility of Omicron, do you think there's any chance that a letter sent from Canada to China could have transmitted the disease? Well, as I said, I'm no expert and would need to, uh, to ask uh, both for more information and more expertise on what is being claimed.